Good afternoon. It is Friday, April the 2nd. I've been working on a video, older video of Julie Rose. It's the raw video that was taken. I'll put it down below who took it, but um, someone actually paid and went to her seminar and I did a video just talking about it um, back then. But this week I took the video of hers that they recorded in her seminar privately, secretly, whatever. And I transcribed, excuse me, I transcribed it so that if you can't hear what she's saying or you just wanna scroll through it and read, I put the transcript like everywhere that she's talking and saying it, I put it on top of the picture. The reason I think that it's so crazy is because if it is not in the Bible, mainly if it's not in the Bible, I, I just, I'd rather not go there. So, and it's just crazy stuff. She thinks she is anointed, okay? She thinks she can see, see beyond the veil. She says that she is supposed to be on three different medications, but she doesn't take them because God's healed her, I guess. I think that she may have a head injury that went untreated if she has had a, a near-death experience, like she says. She even went as far as to say she was born to, you know, and with a bunch of this stuff, which I had not heard that before today either. She was talking about um, how she's anointed and that whenever she sees people drinking alcohol she can literally see your head and your skull open and demons just pouring into there and she sees little goblins and people with black hoodies on people with black hoodies on i think if you're seeing things and hearing things you might be schizophrenic or have schizophrenia or whatever it is i think you might have some issues because you know for a while i thought she just doing this for the money she knows what she's saying is not true but if she is mental and she is seeing these things and hearing these things she thinks it's real and then she's even hearing she doesn't need her medication, which is even more of a sign that something's going on in that head of hers. So, and if she is, if she, if Lori, if Chad, if anybody is, has been given some kind of power from Jesus to do something, they're going to give, God's going to make sure you have the funds and things to do it with, right? He's not going to wait for you to kill people to get the insurance money for them. He's going to fund you somehow because you, you've you been chosen. You, you're blessed. He picked you to do these things. No. I mean, and if Julie is so, can see so far beyond the veil, her little goblins, green people, or what the hell ever told her that the kids were alive when they weren't. So, a prophet, she's not. If what you say comes from God and it does not come to pass because you said it's a revelation from God, God cannot lie. He's not human. He can't lie. He wouldn't lie. He doesn't lie. He doesn't give a revelation and then 20 years later ask you to change it because racial wars over. I mean, he just, God knows what's going to happen and he doesn't discriminate between people because of the color of the skin or anything else. So if he's really chosen you to do something, he's gonna equip you with everything you need to do it. Even if it comes at the last minute from, you know, donation or someone just says, God told me to give you all this money, whatever. I mean, so, you know, and if God would have chosen them to do something that big or small, they wouldn't be in jail right now. He would not have let that happen. He would not have wanted them to kill anyone for damn sure. And especially not to steal money because that's stolen money. <clears throat> Once we get Tammy's 
once we get Tammy's results back, I believe it's going to be more charges. I think that Chad Daybell will rot in jail the rest of his life along with Lori. And I believe they're going to be going at it at court, which is why Chad doesn't want everything joined. And he thinks he doesn't even need to be there because she didn't mention her kids very often. Regardless, Julie isn't being like malicious or deceitful by telling people all these things in her $500 seminar, which I wouldn't think God would want her to do either. Because damn, if you're working for God, what are you doing with all that money? And all those people that come, it's either $500 for seven hours. I think that's what it is. $500 for seven hours of her changing her clothes and talking about her damn self and beating a drum and just feeding you a line of bullshit. I don't know what her near-death experience is. If you do, please let me know. Now, this video, I just recorded it as it was playing on my phone and then I went back and I cut out the long periods where she either cannot tell at all, I can't tell what she's saying, or she went so long without saying anything. And so I just chopped it, chopped it off. And then there were parts where, I mean, she's screaming the whole time, basically, if she's not playing ACDC and changing her outfits, literally leaving people to go change her outfits again. What? This is not a modeling show, Julie. I just really feel like, and her and her husband got divorced and I heard that it was because he really thinks she's been deceived you know, like Chad. I mean, they know so much about each other, yet the only death they saw was Tammy's. Why? Because they were sleeping together. They wanted to see that death. Chad knows if he says that to the person that he has called a God or called one of his many wives so he can sleep with them already because, you know, we've already slept together. Let's just do it again. It won't, God won't be mad. The biggest sin in the LDS church, the biggest sin, sin against the Holy Spirit, which is not even part of God or Jesus. They're like three separate beings. Anyway, and the reincarnation was the other thing. I had come to a place where I was believing more in reincarnation. My reasons for that were that many years ago, I got a book for my best friend from Dr. Brian Weiss. And he accidentally, in his, with his hypnotism sessions and his clients, he accidentally, I guess, put somebody under way too far. And she just, boop, another language. She starts talking about, she could see her death. And he started doing this to everyone and it's called past life regression. It convinced me that there's past lives. Plus the children on freaking videos that I have no business knowing where they used to live and who they were. I mean, how do you explain that? I believe it. So there was like, okay, well there must be reincarnation. And if you read that book, <laughs> it even has Bible verses that they removed from the Bible. Nicene Creed or whatever, but you know, there's like seven different times they got together to make sure that what they wanted in the Bible was in the Bible. And my mom's like, well, that's just the perfect word of God. And I believe that. But I do also believe that even back to King James, he may have left out a few things that the Pope or, or that he would not want other people to know. Because originally a lot of the stuff was taken out when they were finally allowed to read and have their own Bible. Things were taken out because they needed government control. The popes and the Catholic churches, they were like, we need to make sure that they come to us for forgiveness and that they pay us to get into heaven. Because if we let them know they don't have to do that, we're penniless, you know? I, I do believe people can pray and talk to God, but I think we all, all of us are saints. It says it in the Bible. So, then my mother comes and tells me, well, if you believe in reincarnation, Patricia, then there would be no reason for the crucifixion. And I was like, huh? So then I'm like, what? That makes sense too. 
I'm not trying to confuse you like myself. I just want to let you know what was coming up on the video, some other things that Julie believed, and now what I think, maybe she's really, she needs to take her meds that she says she doesn't take. I would guarantee you that however she did almost die, it probably was a head injury and it probably went untreated because she thinks she could have even come out of it being like, I just saw God and he told me I'm whatever. But it seems to be a lot of people in the LDS church, which to me is a cult, because it does not have a supernatural, superhuman Messiah. They say that Joseph Smith is the new blood. I don't know. Tell me what y'all think. Just tell me what y'all think. I want to know. And yesterday, watching a video that recently came out where the police were asking Zulima's son questions at the home while they're still there. Probably just removed Alex or they're removing Alex from the home dead. He says, um, you know, tell me what happened, son. He's like, well, to the police. He says, well, my mom called me and she said, go check on Alex. He's on the floor. Now, how she knew he was on the floor? See, this is, this is one of the many reasons she got immunity. She knows shit. She did shit. And she knows what he took. And I guarantee you it's some freaking Malachite. <laughs> my son's dancing in the hall. He said, so she said that to you. She said, he's on the floor. So I was so glad that the, that the policeman came back and said that. And he goes, yes, she told me he was on the floor. Chad says he made a phone call to him before he died and that he wanted him to pray for him in case anything happened to him. So I think Chad knew he was going to kill himself. Chad wanted him to. He knew too much. They knew court was coming and they knew he was going to be the one to blame. They can just go now and say, well, it was all Alex, you know, and he's not here now. Well, you do know you can go to jail for the rest of your life just for conspiracy to do it, right? I mean, Chad, you sent emails calling people zombies that died. You said it was yours and Lori's job to kill all the zombies before God came back last July when he didn't or whenever. <laughs> God would not put you in jail and cancel coming back. I mean, the devil would. He's laughing at your ass right now along with us because I, don't, I know Chad definitely hit his head too hard when he jumped off that cliff and obviously had two near deaths. So definitely, you know, something going on in that head. So he may be a little mental too, but I think Chad knows that he's lying. Because he told lies, he changed them, told people different things, even about the morning of Tammy's death. I mean, get it together, dude. Which one was it? But he's a liar and a manipulative fool. So that's what he did for a living. In his books and everything, everything was just a story for him to get what he wanted. He really was fed power every time he got another person to think he was something that he's not. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that I got most of it, the good stuff. And honestly, I think the video is only 30 minutes long. I don't even know if I ever had the full seven hours. I don't even know if the full seven hours is online. I don't even know if I could hang on through seven hours of her because just the 30 minutes, she says enough to make you want to switch your wrist. I mean, if I had paid to go to that, I would have literally asked for my damn money back when I left because I'd be like, you didn't tell me what I asked you about Trump. You told me you would talk about Chad. Now you're telling me I got to buy your book. No, I just paid $500 to hear you tell me get your book. I could have got your stupid book and not come and sat here and wasted seven hours of my life. I'll never get back. I would have demanded my damn money back. I don't even think I could have sat in there that long, but it, you know, the stuff that I do have on this part of it, and if I do find more of it, I'll transcribe it because it's some crazy shit. This woman obviously truly believes this stuff and it's some crazy fairy shit. I mean, I do not believe you can talk to rocks. I don't. 
Now, I have seen people that I know are mediums, and they see stuff. They do. They've solved murders. And they talk to trees. So, I know trees are alive. I know. Our rocks is our grass. Can you really read your dog's mind? I can't. I don't want to. He licks his privates all the time and he humps a stuffed animal. I don't need to know what he's thinking. Besides that, I eat hungry and gotta go poop. What else is there to know that he, she, I mean, she can look at her dog and he can tell her, scratch my belly. What? She needs to video that shit. I wanna see it. She needs to bring him to her damn seminars and her talking tree. I'll tell you what, I just don't think it's right for people to think they're holier than thou. And the LDS church has taught them all of this dangerous stuff. It's just crazy. So, hope you enjoy it. Let me know because really it's brutal. It's, it's a lot funner to just scroll through it and read it with her in the background and her different Pocahontas outfit, short skirt. Oh, and, and during this, um, I heard that she really shames fat people. Um, that is so cool. Isn't she fat? She looks fat. Am I wrong? I mean, she's a big girl. I mean, how can you do that to, oh, if, if I'd have been the girl in there that snuck in there and paid $500 for that shit, and it really did make her feel bad. She said, she's like, she really was making me feel bad. So, after the show, no, 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 right then and there, besides what I said I would do before that's so freaking funny, I'd fall on the floor when she's doing the open heart surgery for everyone, and I'd like I was having a heart attack or something, or I just don't even know, but I would have to do something crazy stupid before I ask for my money back. And if she shamed me about any damn thing after I paid that much money, oh my God. I mean, I am so the kind of person now that I'm telling you, it would people would have gotten a double, double show that day. And they would have enjoyed it, I think. Except for the crazy people that really, like, we're walking around shooting invisible arrows and shit in there with her. I just, they, I, um, I think some people really see these things and we don't, why not? Anyway, anyway, hope you enjoy it. Let me know. Have a good weekend. Bye.
there is an interplay between your energy and whatever you put on your body, and, and it can actually talk to you. Inanimate objects are not, that's not a thing. Rocks talk, they have spirit. The carpet can talk, the walls can talk. And you can think I'm crazy, and maybe the next time you see your dog, he'll look at you, you'll look in his eyes and you'll go, he wants his belly scratched. And you take it a step further, you back in your yard, and you ask the tree permission if you can touch its leaves before you dump all your junk you've been carrying around all day. Or you sit on the grass and have a picnic and tell the grass you love it, and you feel the grass love you back. And when you fear, forlorn, sadness, irritation, frustration, pee, piss, heartache, heartbreak, broken heart, angst, disloyal, betrayal, jealousy, frustration, fear, or send a frequency or a program or emotion, and it can come from both the light or the dark side. So pay attention when you hear that ringing in the ears, what that imbalance is in the force what they're trying to communicate or what they're trying to do or accomplish, whether it's from the light or the dark. It can be in left ear, right ear, or both ears. And it's actually where it can be a spiritual gift of discernment and can become a language. Lots of different ways to have the gift of tongues. Joseph never specifically in the spirit realm that is telepathic conversation. So these ministry angels and guardian angels very often are our ancestors. And depending on who you are now or then or who you will be, who you were designed to become or created to become. And we do have giants that guard us. Sometimes they're 30 to 50 feet tall and sometimes they're 12 to 14 feet tall. Most of the Light words that guard me are anywhere from 12 to 15 feet to 30 to 60 feet. And I don't just have those in human form of men and women. I have very large creatures and animals that also uh, do that as well. Protein coating work has the marsh on himself to a large group recently. Yes, he does all the time. Uh, not on this planet. Although he is going to, uh, he does make appearances all the time to individuals in small gatherings, but large gatherings, not yet, not for a long time. And he and Father and Elohim have been with us here today as well. Just I just want to humbly thank them for coming to class today. Um, even though we've released group, removed fears, emotions, something can come up to remind us of it, and it comes back with a vengeance, do we simply work on it again and again? Yes, it's coming back because it still hasn't cleared and there's deeper layers. So you just need to ask the questions. Why is that boomeranging back? Why hasn't it cleared? What other attachments are there that I need to clear? What am I not remembering that happened to me? What other emotions am I not seeing or hearing or feeling? What vibrations are there? So go back and ask those questions. It means it hasn't fully cleared and it keeps coming back. You can and will feel those cords. And then you can ask, can I cut these cords? You're going to get a yes all the time on certain people. And there are many stuff that you made covenants or contracts with that are not uh, completed. Got that? Okay, let's, let's listen to a song. Let's see which one. I don't know what you played, so it might repeat. I'm just going to go on. What feels good? How about ACDC back in luck? We started off the day like that. Might as well come full circle. When we're talking about portals and cycles and patterns, we're getting ready to complete a very large circle, a very large pattern, a very large cycle, and a very large portal. You notice the circles and the patterns we've been doing today. That's all been intentional cycles. Figure eight. Circles, cycles, 
You'll have cycles within cycles or portals within portals. I still have memories of past probations that were very painful. I have memories of rapes and all kinds of stuff. And I'm still clearing that myself. And then I have others that I haven't dealt with yet that surface as I clear out and I'm ready for that. And that's like that with any music you want, you guys work that out between you and I'm gonna go change and be right back and clear some of this because I have gotta take a break, I'm hurt pretty bad. Costume change. Okay. Woo! And then this gives you guys a chance to process, take notes, and work through some of your own pain, okay? Don't give her those questions. 